here we are back in the car and today we're going to be looking at this it's the uh, HTC Tattoo now this is a new Android handset from HTC it's running um, Android version 1.6 on this one it's got a 528 megahertz processor we've got um, quad band GSM GPRS and Edge we've got dual band HSDPA we've got nice 3G connectivity on this one we've got an internal GPS antenna for sat nav and Google Maps and various bits like that. We've got uh, Wi-Fi, we've got Bluetooth 2 with EDR and uh, A2DP, we've got um, the 3.5mm headset jack, it's on the top there and you can see there's a little lanyard loop there too. We've got an 1100mAh battery on that and we've got the um, uh, microSD expansion card which is actually here on the back. I'll just show you uh, a bit more about that back panel in a bit, but there's a micro SD card slot on the left. Now on this particular handset that we've had from HTC, there's a 2 gigabyte micro SD card uh, included. So if I put that back in there, click it in. Now this back panel here, if you go to, I think it's uh, Tattoo My HTC, you can have different back panels, but this is the one that we've got on this device. We've got the HTC logo there. We've got the uh, Google Android down here. This is a 3.2 megapixel camera, so it's not quite as high as the 5 megapixel on the HTC Hero. Uh, we've got no flash. We've got the external um, speaker there. We've got the standard USB port there for charging, synchronizing. There's your little microphone hole. You may just be able to see that there. Uh, nothing else on the right. It's a very curvy handset. As you can see, it's um, quite a rounded design. We've got sort of dark, silver, uh, metallic feel, plastic to it. Um, there's a lanyard loop and the 3.5mm audio, which I've just shown you. And uh, we've got the volume up, volume down, there on the left. And that is pretty much it for the device itself, apart from the navigation controls here. Now, gone are the, uh, the trackball that was on the Hero. That is gone. I mean, instead, we've got a big select button there, so we can move up and down so if we go into the menu here we can move up and down with this rounded outer edge which is a ridge and then select just by pressing and you can go into the uh, messages app there we've got home we've got menu which brings up the selection of scenes or the wallpaper change or goes into all programs notifications or settings We've got the magnifying glass, which does various things in various programs. So here it will do a search uh, of your whole um, home screen in this particular instance. We can go to the browser. We can press it on there. It will do a Google search. Um, and then we've got the back key to go back to where you previously were. Now the difference is um, obviously 3.2 megapixel camera, but the most noticeable is the resolution. It's a... Uh, 240 by 320 screen QVGA on this one whereas if I hold the um, uh, HTC Hero next to it, here's the Twitter app now if I get a similar screen on the Hero which I'll hold to the right here there's a Hero, a larger screen physically and um, also resolution is higher on the Hero uh, it seems to be a crisper screen but you can see there's a lot more detail um, on here. There's a lot less space on the tattoo on the left hand side there than there is on the Hero. Um, with this, there's definitely more uh, real estate on the Hero to utilize. If I get the same, if I go into settings here, uh, let's go there and then we'll change the, oops, if I press menu rather, let's go back to menu. And then I change the scene so that we've got the same scene. So let's go into social. And I'll show you how both the same scene looks on each handset. And just wait for the hero to sort of realise what I've done. There we go. Now, you can see there, there's uh, definitely less space on the HEC tattoo. Let's scroll to the left. To the left again, there's a the Twitter app. And again, there's definitely more space and more text on the Twitter app on the uh, Hero and there's the uh, favorite screen so all in all the Hero um, is going well now 
And basically what I've found in the market here, I've done a search on the HTC Tattoo here on the left for online radio. Now if I do the same thing on the HTC Hero, online, and by the way the keyboard, even though it's a resistive screen on the Tattoo, it does perform quite well. I must admit I haven't really seen a difference between the resistive screen on the Tattoo and the capacitive screen on the um, HTC Hero here. The Hero is running a slightly earlier version of the Android market here. It's not quite as flashy or funky as the newer version on the Tattoo. Now I've typed in online radio on the Hero here and I've got six results. Look at all these apps. And I use this online radio here to listen to um, some online radio stations that I enjoy and I put my 3.5mm headset in and it works fine. Now on the Tattoo I've typed in online radio and it's found nothing. Now basically I've been doing some research and the reason for this is that the HDC Tattoo because of its screen resolution difference you have to physically say when you're submitting your app I believe to the Android market that it will work on this resolution screen. Most people haven't and find unfortunately a huge amount of the apps that are available on the Hero and other Android handsets don't appear to be available on Tattoo and that is a bit of a shame I must admit. A Tattoo in every other respect operates extremely well. It is very fast, it's a very capable handset, it does exactly the same things uh, on a day-to-day -day basis that you would see the Hero do okay the resolution on the camera is slightly lower but that's no great loss uh, you do get added functionality in the uh, well you get um, you get an FM radio on the HTC Tattoo which you don't get on the Hero so you do get one extra thing uh, and there you can see it's got Radio 2 on there if I had the uh, headset in I'd show you that we can do all the funky stuff that we could do on the Hero so we're going to hold down this album thing and I can move it around I've got full flexibility on where I want my apps to appear on my home screen. So if I go to this particular tab, it's, again, it's just like holding a piece of paper underneath the screen. And I go, right, let's have a HTC widget. And I'm going to choose uh, a photo frame. And I want that photo frame, please. Now I want to have my picture uh, that I took of my chocolate cake. And I want that bit of it save it's very very good the this resistive screen I must admit I didn't expect it to be quite as good as this but it's very very accurate even when you're writing uh, a message here if I write a text message for you um, now you've got the QWERTY, QWERTY keyboard and you've got the QWERTY keyboard there as well that you can scroll around you can choose different keyboards if you want I can choose um, uh, we've got of oh, those are the options let's go back and I'll show you on the portrait style keyboard the various keyboards that are available here. Um, if I press settings I can have QWERTY keyboard, I can have a phone keypad or a compact QWERTY. So if I have a phone keypad here we get a slightly different type of keyboard. Uh, there we go and I can type in using T9 so I can go hello there and it will give me a slight small amount of vibration to tell me that I've pressed the key correctly. We can go back to a QWERTY keyboard if you want, which I didn't expect to work very well on the resistive screen, but it does. How are you? And again, the, the inbuilt um, uh, letter uh, the word correction on here is very good and it, it understands what you mean to type and puts it in there for you. The HEC Tattoo on first impressions is a very very good capable handset and I think it's going to do very well for HTC. The only concern I've got is the Android market not showing the amount of apps that are available on the HTC Hero. So here's the two together I'll just show you them one last time because thanks to YouTube I've only got 20 seconds left uh, here's the hero on the right with its funky chin, and here's a tattoo on its left, on, on the left without its chin. And um, a review will be on CoolSmartphone.com very soon.